They say they've actually been doing pretty well here at the Port of Virginia in Portsmouth. Now, today they met with Senator Tim Kaine here to talk about issues like supply chain, but they also talked about the potential impacts from the infrastructure bill. As the holiday season draws closer, ports around the country continue to face backlogs, creating supply chain issues and product shortages around the country. But at the Port of Virginia, the leadership says things have been going better, and they say they face an opportunity right now. If somebody else drops the ball, let's pick it up and run with it. That optimism coming during a meeting this afternoon with Virginia Senator Tim Kaine. People who do business here at the port say there are shortages of truck drivers. That combined with issues at other ports, and there are some delays in supply chains. Kane says, though, the Port of Virginia is an example of a port doing it right. We're taking advantage of investments. We're taking advantage of a simple operating structure. But also, as some other ports have challenges, people are realizing, you know, hey, Port of Virginia is a place to go. Kane also talking with the leaders about the infrastructure bill that has now passed in Congress. It includes $17 billion to address ports, but also means big things for transportation in Virginia. I think it could be transformative for port operations, for road and rail infrastructure, for transit, you know, which is really necessary here. Like, for example, completely widening all of 64 between Hampton Roads and Richmond to three lanes. The infrastructure bill could help pay for that. Well, I think it puts our region at a distinct advantage um, that we have these projects already identified. We understand, you know, the impacts to our community as far as, you know, flooding and traffic congestion. And, you know, we can prioritize those. As after months of back and forth, the bill finally passing heading to President Biden's desk. I was disappointed uh, that it took so long to get across the finish line, but the important thing is that it did. And President Biden is expected to sign the bill into law next week. Live in Portsmouth, Brennan Ponton, News 3.